Hey, what's up everyone? It's Minotaurus here, but you can call me Minnow. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. Normally I upload my gaming VODs from my Twitch channel, but as of right now, I'm not able to stream on Twitch, but still want to put out some sort of content. So I just recently saw Terrifier 3 in theaters, and now I also want to react to Ice Nine Kills' new song, A Work of Art. Truly a clever song title. This is going to be a little bit of a non-spoiler review for Terrifier 3, um, as well as kind of a reaction video for um, Ice Nine Kills' new music video that just came out. So, um, I just saw Terrifier 3, and a couple days ago I watched both the first and second movie, and have now been fully deep diving into the lore of Art the Clown and the franchise. Uh, still need to watch The Ninth Circle and All Hallows' Eve. That is on my list of things to do. However, I am fully aware that uh, this is not the first time Art the Clown has made an appearance in the Terrifier world, I should say, I guess. Um, however, I absolutely loved the third movie. It was so, so good. Um, probably my favorite out of the three, I'm not gonna lie. I think I liked the third one, then the first one, and then the second one. However, I appreciate the artistic style that they have taken for all three movies. I love the other horror movie references that you can catch throughout the, the, the three films. Um, there's definitely a lot of inspiration. At the same time, so much originality goes into these movies. And I love Art the Clown and um, just the whole franchise in general. I feel like it's refreshing to have a new slasher horror franchise kind of emerge. It's been long overdue in my opinion. I'm a huge horror fan um, and slasher films are always just so fun. Although these take it to, I feel like, a new level in terms of the gore. Um, and kind of, I guess, plays more into, like, the theme of Saw when it comes to, like, the gory aspects of it, but then still has, like, the true nature of a slasher or a film. Um, so yeah, that being said, I really loved the movie. I thought it was really well done. Um, I know that a lot of people were saying, watch out for the bathroom scene. Personally, I felt like the bathroom scene was it was brutal don't get me wrong but i don't think that was the scene that really made me queasy necessarily but i don't know if that's also because i just watched terrifier one and two so i've kind of become a little desensitized to like the killing style of art because i've been watching them so close together um however the scene was still brutal don't get me wrong but i always like to see what new tricks art has up his sleeve and he brought some new some new tricks for sure in Terrifier 3. This is truly a new nightmare before Christmas, one could say. <laughs> um, before we dive into the reaction video for the music video, just want to kind of talk a little bit about the film for a brief moment. I see a lot of people complaining online about an off-scene death that deserved to be an on-screen death. And I just want to throw out there without spoiler... Do we actually think that this person that died off screen actually died? Or is this person kind of held captive somewhere and going to make an appearance in the fourth movie and just got a hold of a very recognizable item of this person that was put on this corpse head thing? <laughs> um, like... Do we really know that it is who they say this character is? Um, because I find it really hard to believe that the director would make an off-scene death for such a character as this one in particular. Um, but I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that because I've seen a lot of people complaining about it online, just trying to add a completely different new perspective to it. Curious to know what you have to say, so let me know down. Let me know down in the comments if you feel like this really is the character that passed away, or if that's not really them, and there's going to be another plot line kind of going with that situation in the fourth movie. Um, also, speculation: Do we think the fourth movie is going to take place around New Year's? What holiday do you think is going to happen next? Is it going to be like a My Bloody Valentine kind of thing and be around Valentine's Day? Um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think they're gonna skip over New Year's if or or I don't I don't know They all seem to be following certain holidays. So, um, I don't know. Let me know Let me know if the next one if you think the next one's going to be in theme with another holiday that we have um, So that being said it was a bloody good time 
really enjoyed it. I think it's probably one of my favorites um, out of the three. I think it is my favorite. Um, so yeah, really, really liked it. Let me know what you think about the movie down below. But now let's kind of dive over into more of the Ice Nine Kills world. Ice Nine Kills did a promo uh, song and music video for Terrifier 3 called A Work of Art. And I'm really excited to check out the music video and the song now that I've gone to see the movie and uh, see what it's all about. I used to be a huge fan of Ice Nine Kills years ago, like years, years, years ago, <laughs> like around the time they first got started. And then I kind of fell off listening to them because I just got caught up in other bands that had my intention over the past, like what feels like 10 years. And, um, and then I saw them at Sick New World and they were so good at Sick New World it, it had been years since I'd seen them live so it was really cool to kind of revisit them and I've been absolutely obsessed with the song Welcome to Horrorwood I think the song is so catchy and so 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 freaking good um <laughs> that being said um I'm not too familiar with a lot of Ice Nine Kills newer stuff um I don't hate them I'm not gonna say I love them but I was a decent fan way back in the day so Curious to see what they have in store for us with a work of art, so let's dive right into this reaction. I feel like I'm actually watching a movie here. I want to leave. Hey, but you can't go home. We're already late. You always do this. This is work. I'm broadcasting, and the people want Metal Ambassador Mangy. And I wanted a Mellow Night. Look at me. I'm about to freaking pop here. I'll play. I'll ask a few questions on air, and we're out of here. Jose, my man. Always a pleasure, my brother. Was not expected to see Jose featured in this. That's really cool. I've been following right. Jose for a I'm long time. And I don't want to hear it. What, and going to a disgusting band's horror show isn't? Seriously, it's an Ice Nine Kills concert. What are they gonna do? Hack you up into little pieces? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I feel like I know where this might be going. <laughs> Okay, this is already super fun. <laughs> okay then. This is pretty catchy. I don't know if I would want to be in a crowd with Earth the Cloud, to be totally honest. Especially not a mosh pit. Oh! Okay. Oh, I liked that little bit. Oh, snap. Truly, no one is safe when Art the Clown is in the room. Rip Jose. <laughs> I 
I like how nobody's turning around to look and see what's happening here. Oh my god, he's the last person I want to deliver my baby. Ooh! I don't even know what to make of this right now. Oh boy. Was she strangled by the umbilical cord? Oh, that's pretty cool. I like how she's all burned up and everything. That, that's, that's cool. This build up! That has got to be the most brutal wall of death. <laughs> oh snap. This is so brutal! Which is what I was hoping for. Oh! Art the musician? Gun? Oh no, never mind. I thought I thought it had the body of a chainsaw for a second. I was confused. <laughs> well, all right then. Oh, a poor baby. So what'd you think, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy? Did I, yeah. Hey, uh, Jimmy? <laughs> Don't ever touch me. Don't ever touch me, do you understand? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the boys are putting me to sleep here. Why, is it because we let the baby live? No, you idiot. It's the horror movie horseshit. Spencer's gone, we know that, huh? So you're all gonna have to come up with your own shtick now. Works for me. Does anyone have a lighter? Jimmy, look, I know ostensibly uh, graphic violence can be a little gratuitous, but... But horror is truly a unique platform to explore the human condition. Birth to death, leaning into the death part. I suppose. I feel like this kind of like... What are you all idiots? Ruins the music video. I don't know. I'm not feeling this part. Copyrights. Huh? No, still don't got it. Intellectual properties. Here, look at this. It looks like I'm starting to walk funny. Hmm? You know why? Because of the producers, all the major horror franchises are shoving a cease and desist letter up my ass. You seem to be walking fine to me. Who the fuck are you? That's uh, Mike Cortada, he's the new drummer. Yeah, I used to do all the artwork and now they got me playing drums. Yeah, well, well, listen, drummer boy, drum this into your head. When Weinstein uses his one call from jail to explain business ethics, well, you know, we're pretty well fucked. And take that Terrifier video. That, that director, he won't stop calling. Mr. Fling, it's Damien Leone again. Tell him I'm out to lunch. 
He said if I tell him you're out to lunch again, he will saw off my head and shove it up your ass. <laughs> Patch him through. Go ahead. <clears throat> Hi. Whoa! Whoa! Damien, how are you, my friend? I got my gang here. All right? How you feeling? Good? Well? Happy? What's this I hear about you ripping off my character? Hmm? My art? Oh, yeah, we thought you'd find that funny. Funny? Funny how? Funny why? Because he's Art the Clown? What, does he make you laugh? My character's here to fucking amuse you? Hold on, my producer Phil wants to talk to you. This is Phil Falcone, the producer. Listen, you little shits. The way I see it, you got two choices. One, cut the shit. Or two, to get you a nice pair of cement clown shoes. It's your choice. Now leave us the fuck alone. Woo! Okay. Oh, okay. You got the picture, boys? The label and I took the liberty of preparing a list of films whose rights we can secure. Passion of the Christ? Boys <laughs> in the Hood. Police Academy 3. Everybody's looking for a good third sequel, you know? They made a Grease 2? Yeah, that's a classic. How can I say this? People don't want to be scared. Grease 2 is awful, in they my opinion. <laughs> pride. They want laughter. They want sadness. They want depression. They want religion. I've never heard of any of these. So what? That's the list we got. Okay? And there's some good stuff on that. Okay? Look, look you want, what do you want? Clowns? How about clowns? How about Nicholson and uh, Batman? And uh, Terminator 2 with that big guy. The guy with the funny voice. Think it over. I'll be back. How are we going to do this without Spencer? Yeah, that was the last video we did with him before his coma. <laughs> That's the best part. We don't need him. Two words. A. I. Alan Iverson? Alcoholics Anonymous. What the fuck? It's artificial intelligence. Holograms. Everybody's doing it now with Kiss, what? Okay. Michael Jackson, Abba. You really think that's Mick Jagger up on stage? Huh? Do we really want to be like them? I straight up thought that this was just going to be a song. We do but okay. Job. Now let's face it, our boy's gone. I swear, if uh, Ice Nine Kills decides to go AI in any kind of way, I'm actually gonna be upset. How's he gonna sign it if he's in a coma? I will put a pen in his lifeless hand. And then I will move that lifeless hand across the paper. It's legally binding in Venezuela. And that's good enough for me. Hey. What? Hey. Yeah? Spencer Sharness's room. Last room on the left. Smells like shit in here. Well, you smell really Why are there no lights on in the hospital? You never look better, huh? Let me guess, that's not yeah, Spencer. What the hell they feed you in this place anyway? Spencer? He's in a coma. Like, do you expect him to respond? What the fuck? Spencer. Okay, I felt like that was a little unnecessary. Well, that was a work of art by Ice Nine Kills. Um, the song itself, I really enjoyed. I thought that was a really fun song. I liked, um, obviously there was going to be Terrifier references, and I really enjoyed all of it. It was brutal. I expected nothing less. If it wasn't brutal, I think 
there's something wrong. They would have clearly missed the assignment, but no, I think they nailed the assignment in terms of the song. I enjoyed the music video. I was not expecting to see Jose there. That was really cool. Um, I liked the song a lot. The music video was really cool too. Up until like the weird ending, I Maybe there's some IS-9 kills lore that I'm not familiar with, and you guys can kind of fill me in on that. Um, I felt like it kind of... Like, I was here for a song, and I was here for a music video, and I didn't realize I was getting... Like, that. <laughs> necessarily. Um, I feel like that the last bit with the band was kind of unnecessary, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe there's some Ice Nine Kills lore that I, I'm not aware of and you guys can fill me in down in the comments. Um, that part kind of like killed the vibe because I was about to like dive in and be like, yo, that song was so hype. And then I, had, I sat there and I watched this and I was like, okay, like how long is this going on for? Um, I was not personally prepared for this, but again, this was a blind review reaction. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to be this long. Um, I didn't even look at the time step, time stamp prior into going to this. But um, the song itself, I really enjoyed. I think it really encompassed Terrifier 3. Um, definitely a brutal wall of death, uh, that's for sure. Um, I don't know if I'd want to be in a mosh pit with uh, with Art the Clown. He, I mean, he's quite the crowd killer, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to throw in something lame and cheesy. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed Terrifier 3, and I really enjoyed the song itself and the music video that when it was paired with the song. Um, and it was really cool. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, have you seen Terrifier 3 yet? Did you like it? What are your thoughts and your opinions on it? Out of the Terrifier 1, 2, and 3 movies, which one is your favorite which one's your least favorite? Do you like them all? Do you just hate the franchise in total? Let me know down below. And um, yeah, I don't I do not do too many reaction videos that much, but feel free to come check me out over on Twitch. I play a lot of horror games and Final Fantasy XIV. Um, every now and then I do switch it up and I play some shooters and uh, some Rust and just chatting streams and things like that. So um, my actual PC is... Uh, out of commission temporarily, so I'm using like this really crappy backup PC. Um, so hopefully very soon I can get back into streaming um, within the next like week or so. So um, my current computer is being worked on. This crappy PC doesn't run games very well. Um, so come, feel free to come check me out over on Twitch um, and hang out with me over there. And if you're not able to come see me over on Twitch, um, I do upload pretty much everything that I do on Twitch onto my YouTube channel. So you can also check that out as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for, for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed my review slash reaction video. And I look forward to discussing all things Terrifier with you all down in the comments. I will see you all later. Bye!